We're looking at the Mega EVCA210 electric vehicle charging adapter. And we start by looking at the pre-test that you can actually do on the tester. The most important of which is the PE pre-test. This is a simple discharge point for touch voltage to make sure that there's no potential on the earth of the vehicle. You must check this at every selection on the tester. So we'll start by selecting the correct charging current, in this case 32 amps. And again, you can see this light doesn't come on. Because it's a domestic charge point, we use A, B and C. B being car connected, but not calling for charge. And again, you can see the light doesn't come on. And finally C, which would be car connected and calling for charge, will trip the contactor in, and you can see the phase light coming on. But again, the important bit is, it's not bringing on this little neon next to the discharge point. So we're now safe to proceed with the rest of the tests. The first one being the PE error. Basically, if there's an earth fault on the car or it loses the earth, it must stop the charging process. And if I press the test button, it will cut off the charging process. And as soon as you release it, it will come back on again. And finally, the CP error, which is basically an electrical fault on the vehicle, Again, it must stop the charging process. And if I press the button, you can see it cuts off and then release it, it must reset and come back on.